Hey guys, this is Mike, and this is the eighth video in the LibGDX desktop tutorial. So in the last video, we finished up the asteroids list. Uh, so far we have the player, the bullets list, and the asteroids, and player state has a reference to all those. So it only makes sense to have play state handle all of the collision, and that's what we're going to do here in this video. We're going to do collision between these three classes here. Um, so pretty much just an update. Uh, we have get user input, update player, update bullets, update asteroids. And down here we're going to do check collisions. We're just going to put that in a separate method just to try to organize everything. Check collisions. And uh, we can write that down here. Private void check collisions. So what kind of collisions do we need? We need uh, asteroid and player collision, and we need bullet and asteroid collision. So we need collision between these two and then these two. Let's start with the bullet to asteroid since that's kind of simpler. So this is going to be bullet asteroid collision. Um, so pretty simple, just loop through all the bullets. I is less than uh, bullets that size, I plus plus, get the bullet. Here, bullet B is equal to um, bullets I get I, and loop through all the asteroids. J is zero. J is less than uh, asteroids that size. J plus plus, and get that asteroid. Asteroid A is equal to uh, asteroids that get J. There we go. So pretty much, we just want to do if uh, the asteroid contains the point B. Since the bullet is tiny, it's pretty much just a point X, Y, and asteroid is just a polygon, right? So the collision that we're going to do here is if A contains B. The polygon A contains the point B. And uh, the way to do the way that we're going to do that is um, we're going to use something called the even odd winding rule to find out whether or not a point is inside a polygon. So again, the polygon is just this, shape X and shape Y. This is in space object, by the way. So first off, let's uh, create some getters for that. Get shape X, oops, return shape X, and like uh, float get shape Y, return shape Y. So these are, this is our uh, polygon. So we're going to make a method here called contains and then we're going to give a position x and y and this is going to be the point that we're going to check uh, whether or not it, it, it intersects the polygon shape x and shape y. Um, so we're going to use the even odd winding rule. Basically the even odd winding rule states that any point inside the polygon uh, and then you draw like a line outside of it it crosses the polygon like an odd number of times something like that I looked the I looked up the pseudocode on Wikipedia and it, it, it was in Python and it, I just did not know what the hell it was so I'm just gonna put it here public boolean contains so we're gonna check if this polygon shape X Y contains this point x, y. So it's boolean b is false. We're going to do int i equals 0. j is equal to shape x dot length minus 1. And uh, the next argument is, or it's not an argument, but uh, next thing is i minus is less than shape x dot length. And then the last thing is j is equal to i plus plus. Okay, what did I do? Oh, this is supposed to be a comma. There we go. So in this loop, we're going to do an if statement that I have no idea what it does, but I assume it does the even odd winding rule since that's the article it came from. We're going to do if shape i is greater than y does not equal shape y j is greater than y and, and I'm going to move to the next line here, let me just put that in, uh, and x is less than shape x j <laughs> minus shape x i that 
times, uh, and I'm going to move to the next line here because it's way too long, times y minus shape yi divided by shape yj minus shape yi, parentheses, and then I'm going to move to the next line, plus shape xi. Oh, this, this first one is uh, shape yi, by the way. Okay, obviously, uh, okay, I use too many closing brackets there. And over here, we're just going to flip the boolean, so b is equal to not b. That's the thing about the even-odd winding rule. If it's even, it's outside the polygon. If it's odd, it's inside the polygon. Um, and we're just going to return uh, b here. So, I don't know, if you can figure out what the hell this does, then whatever, it works, so. Um, so yeah, given a point x, y, check if it's inside this polygon, shape x and shape y. So, we have that now, and we can actually use that in our bullet asteroid collision. A contains B. Simple. We do if A dot uh, contains, and we have to give it the bullet position, which is B dot get x and B dot get y. There we go. So, if A so this is pretty much the collision. If the asteroid got hit by this bullet, then um, we're gonna do we're gonna remove the bullet. Bullet start remove i i minus minus, and we're also going to remove the asteroid. Asteroids that remove j j minus minus, and we're going to create a uh, we're going to call a method called split asteroids, and we're going to give it the asteroid that we need to split a and we're going to break. So that's that. We need this split asteroids method. Um, let's go, let's put it up here above spawn asteroids. It doesn't really matter where you put it. Um, might as well. A private void split asteroids and then asteroid A. So this is really simple. It's just num asteroids left Minus minus, we just killed an asteroid, so decrement the count there. And uh, we have to check the type. If a.getType is equal to asteroid.large, it was a large asteroid, then we need to split it up into two um, medium asteroids. So asteroids.add new asteroid, uh, and we're going to give it the position of the old asteroid, so a.getx, a.gety and it's going to be asteroid.medium. I hope you can see that. That's pretty much it. So uh, I can move this down to the next line. Asteroids that add new asteroid, a dot get x, a dot get y, and asteroid medium. And we're going to add two medium ones in there. So that's for the large asteroid. However, if a I get type is a uh, medium asteroid, we're going to add two small asteroids in its place. So I just copied and pasted this. Um, okay, so instead of medium, we're going to create some small asteroids like that. Cool. Let's see if this actually works. Okay, let me move this up. This better work. There we go. Oh, sweet. Okay, so that's the uh, bullet asteroid collision. Pretty simple. And it works. I don't know what that that whole math if statement thing does, but uh, apparently it works. Oh, crap. Okay. So, uh, so we finished bullet and asteroid collision. Uh, we're just going to finish up player asteroid collision here. And, uh... Over here you can see we only have this contains method which checks if a point is inside a polygon. Obviously the player is not a point. <laughs> it's a polygon itself, so we have to do polygon to polygon collision. So over here we have check collisions. We have bullet asteroid collision. Now we are going to do player asteroid collision. This one is um it's not that much harder. Uh, but you have to do some extra stuff in here anyway. So, um, this is relatively simple. Just 
check if the asteroids we have to go through all the asteroids basically asteroids size five plus plus and over here we're going to do if player intersects asteroid first let's get the asteroid asteroid a is equal to asteroids that get i and um back in space object save okay so back in space object we have this contains um, and we're going to create a new method called public boolean intersects and then space object other so pretty much we're checking if these two space objects which are polygons intersect with each other so this is polygon polygon collision and we're going to use contains to help us basically first we have to get the polygon of the other uh, just do sx or shape x, whichever other dot get shape x, and then other dot get shape y, like that. And um, we're going to find out whether or not each of these points in the polygon intersects with the other polygon. So just use a loop i equals zero i is less than um, sx dot length i plus plus, and if contains sxi and syi then return true otherwise return false so again um, pretty much we're just uh, using this contains point method to find out whether or not every point from this polygon contain, uh, contains pretty much or the other polygon contains or this polygon contains every point from the other polygon. I'm confusing myself. Uh, anyway, so back in play state we have player asteroid collision so we get the go through all the asteroids, get the asteroid so if A dot intersects player then um, we're going to do this later but we're going to create a method called player dot hit so first we're, we want to remove the asteroid here uh, it's not J, it's I. Asteroids are move I, I minus minus, and we're going to do split asteroids again. And break. So, uh, player dot hit. This is when the player got gets hit with the asteroid. It, like, explodes into little lines. Um, where is player? Over here. Where... Uh, we could put it anywhere, just above update, I guess. Public void hit. Um, this is outside of the collision part of the video, so I'm actually going to just stop the video here. Let me just make sure that the collision between the player and asteroids works. It should split if I run into it. Ah, damn it. There we go. Okay, so it breaks apart. So the collision works. Sweet. This could be like an, a whole nother game. This, you know, instead of shooting asteroids, just try to run into them. It's actually really hard. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna do this player hit another time because it's not really a collision part of the collision video. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.